Sustainable energy for Galena, Alaska, or SEGA's long-term goal is to maximize the displacement of diesel energy generation in Galena with renewable energy sources and create economic development opportunities resulting in a sustainable and energy independent community. Since 2015, we have displaced nearly 1 million gallons of imported diesel fuel and generated eight key employment positions within the organization. In phase one of the U.S. Department of Energy's Energizing Rural Communities Prize, SEGA formed an energy steering committee with diverse local stakeholders to create a community energy plan and through this process, strengthen trust and improve collaboration skills. This work resulted in a fully funded 1.5 megawatt solar and battery renewable energy system to be installed in Galena in the next two years. During phase two, we will focus on developing the next generation of energy leaders by implementing the solar battery project where SEGA will be serving as the independent power producer. Let our community tell you the story of our collaboration. Galena, Alaska is 270 miles west of Fairbanks on the Yukon River. We went through a federally declared disaster in 2013 with a, a flood that affected everyone in the community. But it was also super encouraging to see how the community really pulled together and like worked like hard for two years probably to, to just get back on our feet and get everything really going again and going well. And Sega was started by uh, leadership of Loudoun Tribe, uh, City of Galena, and the school district, and in support of the uh, biomass initiative, and then uh, partnering with the tribe really around the COVID time frame in uh, helping them develop their uh, housing program. Since 2021, we've been uh, constructing homes for, uh, for their program, and we've done seven to date, and uh, an eighth will successfully be completed this season. The partnership with SEGA, one of our biggest assets is the house building these homes that we want done um, our way. You know, we, we have a uh, understanding with you, we can we can get a finished pro product that we want and not having somebody from out of town yeah. building something. We have things that, you know, are here in Galena. We, we, I really think it's a benefit to have somebody from Galena, like SEGA, doing yeah. our, our building in. And I think we have a hundred percent local hire. Yeah. I was born in Fairbanks, but I was raised here. And yeah, I've just graduated last month too. Now last year Tim gave me a official name. It was General Administrative Assistant. And technically I would be Tim's right hand man. <laughs> Keeps me busy. Um yeah, it's really good to work with all these guys. We have a really great crew. Tim's a really good boss and he does a really good job managing everybody and making sure everybody's busy. Seeing the development of a group that has started the biomass project that heats the school to now most recently this you know microgrid project with the solar array and the large scale battery that's gonna help the, the electric utility in the community. Those types of things are very encouraging to me to see sort of looking, you know, not just you know two years out, but ten years out and 30 years out to do the things in the community to make sure that it's gonna be here and viable and vibrant for the future. Our pilot project's a 50 kW, and the, uh, the final product, uh, we hope by uh, the end of May 2025, will be a 1.5 megawatt array. So uh, what we looked at there was uh, 1 28th of uh, the panels that will be out in that field. Yeah, and it'll be accompanied by a one megawatt hour uh, battery system with a one megawatt inverter. So uh, really adding to the uh, resiliency and the security of the energy system for the community. Uh, in our small remote community, we have a mixed economy. The biggest con contributor to it would be the, the transfer component. Subsistence plays a significant role. Uh, and just like the biomass, that was an opportunity to bring in uh, a new component to the market economy where economic transactions took place. Money that previously was immediately going away from the community stayed in the community and brought a wide range of value added benefits. And that's how we view the uh, potential of the solar as well with using a local IPP. And SEGA will play that role of an uh, independent power producer or, or sir, the word I use is serve that role 
And I, I use that very specifically because Sega won't own the asset like a traditional IPP. That will be the tribe's asset, but we'll be contracted to manage, operate, and maintain the operability of it. So while the city is still spending money on the solar fuel, as I call it, that dollar value, that revenue stays in the community and can be turned around and uh, provided to uh, as either indirect or direct benefits to the community. And really, it's a, it's a project that exemplifies the uh, collaborative nature and the partnership aspect of, of Galena and how Galena has been successful in many of the endeavors that we've taken on. We take it on as ourselves, as community members. This is our home. This is what we want. And I think that's the most important thing. We work together with the school, the tribe, and the city. Uh, I mean, Sega now. Mm -hmm. I mean, with all these projects, with any partnership, you know, you take on solar. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think any of us did, you know, all the components of it and we've learned so much and I think we're we've still been, learning <laughs> yeah. I think we're like a guinea pig of all you know all the projects of solar because now we have the tribe we have the city we have you know the school Sega yeah. and there's just so many different components it's really complex it really is and uh and you're you're completely accurate you know with a uh an array of this size there it is like none other uh, in the state, yeah. on in remote Alaska, off the road system. Sega has been able to uh, uh, harness uh, a workforce and bring an administrative capacity to uh, help manage, operate, and maintain the array. So now here we are, 2024, and rather than just the one grant, we have three separate grants: two awarded to the city, one federal, one state. And then the tribe has uh, received funding, uh, federal funding, for the construction of the array. I think we're starting to see the benefits with the employment opportunities, people being interested in working the administrative parts and, uh, or joining the workforce as a, an introductory laborer. But being able to have an opportunity to have good employment, uh, meaningful, purposeful employment, it's here in your community to where you can then turn around and learn the ropes, start to set up your own homes, or take care of your families and your elders and things like that. You know, to support those kinds of values is incredibly uh, important to this whole process. Energy is the thread that uh, ties all of this together. One thing that hasn't been generated to this point is a, a community-informed energy plan. We've started a, a, a group we call the Galena Community Energy Plan Working Group, and I'm very happy to have a, a wide range of community members uh, express interest to participate, all the way from uh, uh, older locals who have lived their whole life here to uh, you know 16-year-old uh, high schoolers and, and everything in between. So that was really neat. And then last night we uh, we met to you know kind of. Uh, start building an understanding. Kind of talked about how we, we always have these learning curves and things that work and things that don't work and it really takes people who are willing to try and potentially fail. As we've taken on like this huge solar project and we, we talked yesterday with the folks at the city and learned about some of the hurdles that they are struggling with outdated equipment, the constant upgrading that's required and you know just trying to keep things going but then trying to add in new technology creates all these this whole cascade of more impacts and changes and upgrades that need to happen and i think we've learned that as much as you can include all of these different stakeholders in the conversation as early as possible and as often as possible uh, the more chance you have of, of success or at least of mitigating some of those bumps and hurdles along the way. Energy transitions, uh, making things more efficient, cleaner, friendlier, so on and so forth, that is a fantastic objective and it's what we're striving for, to increase the security, to increase the resiliency. And so we hope to uh, develop a product that will be, you know, accepted within the community and can help inform uh, future projects. Galena, Alaska is a, is a great place to live and it's a thriving community that I think supports each other and tries really hard to do well and to provide a safe place for kids to grow up.